Okay, I'm going to start exactly at um, 7 o'clock. Welcome, Soto. Please um, uh, mute yourself. Uh, we're going to start in uh, five more minutes. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're starting five more minutes. There's more, uh, more people coming. Right, we'll start very soon, okay? All right, all right, all right. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, today is uh, August um, 20, uh, Thursday. As I already told you last time that I have to um, I'm give you a live stream lecture today and just today and next week. And from that next week on, um, we're gonna have, uh, we not have live stream anymore. And uh, we, we still have live stream, but not the lecture, okay? Uh, unless uh, there's no video posted on Canvas, then I'll give uh, uh, a, a, a live stream lecture. Okay. Uh, before I start, I just just want to ask you if you guys have any questions for me. No question. Well, everybody, cool, huh? Everybody, uh, uh, 
really uh, understand what is going on. Um, yeah, so you have to finish uh, after the lecture today, right? Uh, you have to um, finish the homework 2.1 according to the schedule because it's, see, uh, it's due August 24. So you have finished uh, by August 24, otherwise the school will be will withdraw you automatically. So uh, that's one of the requirements you have to do to show you that you're really dedicated to the course. Um, so trying to finish that, I give you only one homework not a lot i think that's a very easy homework so uh if you guys have any questions re related to homework just uh give me a, a canvas message i believe that uh scc is also the, uh, offer you guys a free tutoring online tutoring you can come to uh c tutor and ask them to ask him to help you uh, but first of all you guys have to help each other first okay that's why on the first day of, uh, of school I I, prep, uh, I brought you guys to small group and you guys had information from each other. So you guys have to contact each other, help you help each other first before get to the tutor. Then uh, then you get to me if you couldn't figure out the answer. Okay. So I'm gonna take attendance at the end of, the, of this meeting. Uh, so try to stay uh, with me uh, for one hour and fifteen minutes only. It's not really that bad. Any question? All right. All right. So let's get with, uh, let's start with our first section, the two point one. Um, before I start two point one, I want to do a quick recall what you guys already learned. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the first time you got introduced to mathematics. For some people, more people come in. That's good. But I want you guys to come on time because when I start the lecture, it's very hard for me to get back to the screen and hit a bit. I mean, it's going to interrupt my lecture. There's no people coming. Wonderful, guys. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there's, there's more. Oh, please, please uh, mute yourself because I don't want to hear the noise from your background. Okay. The lady, the lady butler couldn't get in for some reason, some way, somehow. That's why sometimes online, online class it doesn't work because of uh, the internet. There's so many uh, reasons behind. Uh, still, it doesn't work. Sorry, guys. When people come in. I'm gonna send you guys a message, uh, a letter to say that you guys should come on time because, you know, if you guys come like this, I have to click uh, admit, 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 and it was a lot of time. Okay, I right, just uh, we couldn't get in anyway. Okay, uh, let's. <laughs> I don't know. I forget what I just said. Okay, so you guys remember the first time you introduced to mathematics, right? Elementary school, you uh, you introduced to uh, all the number, right? Then you move up to another grade. You learn how to add numbers together. You uh, you you learn how to multiply number together. Uh, then divide number together. Then you introduce to fraction. Then by the time you went to middle school, you know. How to do um, PEMDAS rule? Right? PEMDAS rule is very important, but sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes it's like you guys really don't know why you have to do that. You know, you you learn how to add number, you multiply number together, you apply all the PEMDAS rule. What what is the math behind that? You know, there's this this must have some uh, foundation uh, to do PEMDAS. Right? Why we why we could do PEMDAS rule? Okay. So the first part of the lecture today, uh, I want to do a recall on that. And after you learn PEMDAS and all the arithmetic operation, you move up to to you use that. I'm sorry, you use that to solve equation. Okay. And one of the very basic equation is a linear equation. So we we'll have put down the topic today: linear equation. 
we're going to learn how to solve linear equation actually you already learned this topic when you were in high school you learn a one step equation two step equation then you learn multi-step equation linear equation it's kind of the same thing but i'm gonna add more fractions so that you guys remember how to add multiply fraction okay so the first part of the class today i want to do recall okay back in the day you learned how to add number back and add multiply distribute number uh, those things it based on a property okay we call that uh there's some uh, property we call that a remedic property let's just put a remedic so the first part a remedic property everybody can hear me right hopefully you can Oh, why but I couldn't get in I hit that bit many times we couldn't get in all right the first property is called commutative commutative and the commutative property say that if you add two number a and b together okay it is the same you is the same as you add uh, b to a so a plus b is the same as b to a that's the same because 2 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 2 right 2 plus 5 to add to 5 give you 7 and 7 uh, uh 5 plus 2 also give you 7. so a plus b is the same as b plus a and the same as when you multiply a and b so a multiply b is the same as b multiply a right that's totally makes sense okay if for example two times three is six is the same as three times two right it does not change at all okay this property is very important because it's, you might have to use that when you how to, uh, when you learn how to solve linear equation the second property is called associated property okay. what is associated property associated property state that if you add all three numbers together and you put parentheses for the first two okay. it this is the same as you put the parentheses for the last two number okay it totally makes sense because i can give you a quick example for example like uh, two plus three plus four is also the same as two plus three plus four like that because 2 plus 3 give you 5, 5 plus 4 also give you 9. And if you look over here, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 also give you 9. So it must be the same. Oh my God, I couldn't get in. Okay, that is associative property. And this is additional associative property. The multiplication associative property is give you the same thing. So A times B. You put parentheses times c is also the same as a times b you put parentheses for b and c for example two times three give you six six times four give you 24 is also the same as three times four is 12 12 times two is also 24 it's just totally makes sense right very simple any questions so far very good and the third property this is very important property we're going to use this a lot we call distributive property this property is as for uh foiling you know when you have parentheses you start foiling the number together you know you move forward it so the foiling step the foiling process actually it based on this property distributive property and I say that if I multiply a by the sum b plus c, the same way you multiply a b plus a sum c. So you foil it, you distribute it, you foil it. Okay. And it's the same when you multiply by the, the difference. So a times b minus c is also a times b minus a times c. 
And when uh, the property multiplied by the zero, I'm not gonna write out here because any number multiplied by zero is give you zero. Totally makes sense, right? I'm not gonna write here. So these three property here this is the main one. We're gonna use that a lot when you solve linear equation. And when you use, when you after you learn this property, uh, you learn you apply this property in uh, in uh, operation. We call that um, order of operation, right? operation okay. and in order of oper operation we use uh, we have a rule we call a pandas rule right pandas rule what is pandas rule pandas rule anyone remember what pandas rule is anyone what is PEMDAS? why we call it pandas rule hmm. yes or no Anyone? No, you already know that. Huh? Probably you forget. I mean, did you forget everything? Okay. Give me just like, why we call it PEMDAS. Why we call it PEMDAS? What the P means? Anyone remember? Parenthesis. Parenthesis. Yeah. yeah. P means parenthesis. Parenthesis, right? Okay. E is what? Exponents. Exponent, wonderful. Oh, okay. you still remember M is multiplication, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And D is, of course, division. Then A is, oh my God, I don't have enough space. I'm going to write that. Okay. A is uh, addition. And S is subtraction. Okay. But I want you to. I notice this. I know that the P, the letter P go first, it means every time you see parentheses, you have to apply the distribution property. The property I have here, you mean that you have to distribute, you have to fold it. But be careful if you have, remark, if you have the operation that contain only addition and subtraction, if it has only addition and subtraction or it has only multiplication and division okay then you have to do from left to right okay you have to do from left otherwise you have to follow the other operation. You have to use the PEMDAX rule. So that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that a multiplication always go first, okay? It doesn't mean that. Multiplication, the letter M first, it doesn't mean that multiplication always go first, no. If you see only multiplication and division, you have to go from left to right. You have to go from left to right. Let me give you the same. Uh, let me see if I have any example here. Um, <coughs> something uh, feasible, something that we can work on. Okay, how about this? Example one. Um, I have uh, 5 minus 3 times 2 minus 4 plus 5. And I want you to follow me like this, okay? PEMDAS rule, first thing, parenthesis. So the parenthesis is covered 4 and 5. It means that we have to do that first. And because we do that first, the other part, we're not going to touch it. We just leave it there. So we're going to leave 5 minus 3 times 2 there, right? 4 plus 5 is 9. See? 5 minus 3 times 2, we don't touch it. I just calculate whatever inside parentheses. And now we have negative multiplication and 
a minus, minus multiplication and a minus. According to PEMDAS, we have to do the multiplication first. And because we have, we do in multiplication first, it means that five, we don't touch it. Negative, we don't touch it. Negative nine, we also don't touch it. Three times two is six. Okay. This is where it's killing you right here. So make sure that when you do this, you have to put the equal sign, okay? Equal. Now anyone can tell me what we're gonna do next. Okay, let's what, what, sh what should we do next? We should do six and nine, or we should do five and six, or we should do five and nine, which one? Give me your opinion. You could be wrong, but that's fine. Give me, give me your opinion. Which one you, should, which one you should do first? Would it be like five minus six? Five minus six. Okay. Why do you think so? Why five minus six go first? Why not six and nine? Uh, to go left to right. Exactly, because there's no multiplication. Only uh, the only subtraction here. Okay, there's no multiplication, there's no division. You have to go from left to right. So five minus six, negative one, negative nine, give you negative ten. Okay. Any question on the first example? Example two, I want you to practice for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna just write over here, but uh, I'm not gonna go through that. Um, I just write over here and you can do it uh, when you finish the meeting. Okay. Because we don't really have too much time going through this. This is a very basic thing. This is belong to the course before you have engineering. Okay. okay. So after you learn or the PEMDAS to learn the property, you learn how to solve linear equation. That is the purpose of PEMDAS. It is to solve a linear equation. So on the second part, solving linear equation. What is linear equation? That's the first question. That's the first question is, what is linear equation? Linear equation is uh is an equation of course okay that contain x only it does not contain x square it does not contain x to the third power it does not contain square root of x it contain x only and it must be in the form a x plus b equals c so this is linear equation when you solve linear equation, it means that you solve you solve for the x value that make cosine of equation uh, equal to each other. Okay. When you solve for the equation, it means that you solve for the x value that make both sides of the equation equal each other. So it's like, uh, uh, it's like uh, something like this. I have the scale, right? You know, I have a scale like this. My scale is not really good, but it's not a scale, okay? And over here, I put a x plus b. And over here, I put the c. Okay, on the left this I put AX plus B on the right uh, this I put C and I want to find the X value such that the scale is in equilibrium state. It's equal to each other. It's not like this, it's not like it's not like uh, uh, this one higher than this or it's not like this is lower than this. No, it must be in the equilibrium state. That is mean. Uh, uh, that is mean a certain linear equation, um, uh, literal. Okay. Okay. So 
AX plus B equals C is a very basic linear equation. And we're going to use all the property we just recall to solve for that. Okay. Let's go to the first example. Oh, before we go to the example, I want to talk about this property. And this property, we're going to use that to solve linear equation also. I'm sorry. So we call the property of equality. Without this property, we cannot solve linear equation, OK? And the, first, uh, the property state that if A equal B, Okay. Then this is this equivalent to, this is mean equivalent to, okay? Equivalent, that's simple. You have equal sign and you have two arrow on the other side, left and right. If you add a number, I call that number C to the left. If you add a number to the left, it is the same and you add the same number to the left. It means that you can add or subtract any number, okay? Add or subtract any number to the equation, and that equation does not change. Same thing for multiplication. If you multiply it, a C number to both sides, it also gives you the same thing. And the same thing, if you divide it, a divided by C is the same as B divided by C. And we're going to use this property here. You know, when you learn how to solve linear equation, you know, back in, uh, when, you when you're in high school, and the teacher told you to add a number to both sides of the equation, and you were like, why do you have to do that? You know, you know what, what is the reason for that? Actually, it comes from this. That is called the property of equality. Without this property, you cannot add. Okay, now let's jump to our first example. So, I'm going to give you the very simple one, right? It's super simple one. First, we're going to go from the easy one to the harder one. Okay, something like this x minus 4 equal 5. This, this is a very simple equation. Oops. Okay. So in order to get the x, okay, because you solve for equation, it means that you solve for x. You need to isolate the x. So you need isolating the x value. And right now you see on the left hand side, we have x minus 4. It's not isolated yet because we're getting stuck with negative four, right? So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Add four. Add four because of this. See, we can add four both sides of the equation because of this. Or if we don't have this property, we cannot do that. Okay, so I'm gonna add four. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna let's just go ahead and rewrite this. I'm gonna add four here like that, right? I'm gonna add four here like this, right? So that cancel them out, right? Then give you x equal. Basic one. Any question on the first example? Okay. Uh, in high school, we call this a one step equation. That is linear equation because we just do one step, we just add a number. It's called one step. All right. How about this? Example two 5x equals 15. Do you think that your x now is isolated yet? It, it, is the x alone or it getting stuck with something? It's being multiplied with the 5. Yeah, so it's attached to number 5. Right? We need to isolate it, right? We cannot have it number 5 in front of it. So we need to get rid of number 5. How am I going to get rid of number 5? You divide it. Divide it, you see, it's right here. See, I divide it. Look, because of the property, I can divide it. So I divide by five. I divide by five here. And sort of my right? Then x equal to 15 divided by five gives me three. 
But of course, you know, not all the linear equation is that simple, right? Something hard. Something with a uh, two, two minus one over two times x. That's what. I'm gonna keep moving to the harder problems. We go from the easy one, we move to the harder one. All right. Again, think about isolating the x. Right now, your x is attached to one over two. Okay, that is the closest to the, the number that closest to, to the x is one over two. All right, but there's also number two here. Okay, so we need to get rid of the further one first. Ah, right now it's positive two. We need to get rid of. Okay, how I'm gonna get rid of number two right here? Back two from both sides. Add or subtract. Remember, this is the sign in front of number two is the positive sign. This is the sign. You have to look for the sign in front of the number. Don't look for the sign. Don't look at the sign behind the number. Okay. The sign in front number two is positive. It's an invisible policy. Positive here. So in order to get rid of number two, what we do? You subtract it. You subtract it. Okay, pay attention, okay? Look for the side in front of the number. So subtract both sides, right? Subtract both sides. One side here, one side here. Cancel them out. See, the side in front of the half still there. I rewrite it. One time negative two is negative two. Oh, I'm sorry, not that. One minus, one minus two is negative one, sorry. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get rid of the negative half. How I'm gonna get rid of the negative half? Because we need to isolate the x. We need to get rid of the order, but that attached to the x. We need the x itself. Okay. What are we gonna do? I multiply get... 2 over 1. Multiply by 2 over 1, exactly. Or negative 2 over 1 or 2 over 1, because right now we have negative. So we have to multiply by the negative, because negative times negative is positive, right? You see, we want positive. We don't want the negative side in front of the x as the answer. So we have to multiply by negative 2 over 1. See? Negative two over one here, time negative one, I put it down here. Okay. So negative two over one time negative one over two give you negative two over one time negative one over two give you one. Anyone? How you how you multiply fraction? Anyone remember how how you multiply fraction? Hmm? Wait, wait. How you multiply fraction? It could be wrong, that's why, man. You gotta give me some opinion. You cannot be neutral. Don't be neutral, you know. If you if you are neutral, it means that come on, you have to take a side. You know, you Republican or Democrat. You cannot be like what 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 side are you gonna take? You know? You cannot be in the middle. You know, in the middle, no, you remember you read you read a history, you know, World War Two, right? You either in American side or in the Nazi side or you in the Japanese side, you know. If you're in the middle, you become a battleground. When you battleground, you know, people hit you, you know, they shoot, you die. So you have to take some. What will you do here? Is it okay. straight across? Exactly, just straight across. Just <laughs> multiply across, guys. Negative two times negative one is two. 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So over here, we have 1x. One 1x one is just x. 
throw it away. We don't write one x. Don't write one x. One x is x. Okay. Negative two over one is negative two. Negative two divided by one negative two. Negative two times negative one is two. So you answer two. Question. Any concerns? Okay. Keep moving up, okay? Example four. Now we're going to do something with parentheses. Okay? And every time you see parentheses, you have to apply the distributive property. Two parentheses x minus one equal four minus one over two, four plus. Please, please, so if you guys forget how to add num uh, add fraction, multiply a fraction, divide a fraction, please review it for yourself. Okay, try to get a tutor. I think I think exercises offer online tutor. Try to get a tutor to help you to do that. Okay, every time you see parentheses, you have to distribute it. You call it as two times x is two x. Two times negative one is negative two. Okay, in front of the number, in front of the parenthesis is 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times 4, 1 over 2 times 4, right? 1 over 2 times 4, 1 over 2 times 4 is 4 over 1, right? You just multiply across, 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, negative 1 over 2 times x, I call it. Negative 1 over 2, negative times positive is negative. 1 over 2 times x is 1 over 2x. Okay. Now you look at it on the left side of the equation, we have 2x minus 2. On the right side of the equation, you have 4 minus 2 minus 1 over 2x. On the left side of the equation, you cannot do anything. You can't do anything. Because 2x minus 2, you cannot combine it. You cannot combine because it's not similar, it's not similar term. As long as it's in similar term, then you can combine it. 2x minus 2 is not similar term. So you cannot combine it. So you just leave it for the time being. Now look at the right hand side. Do you think do you think that we have something to combine first? Anything you can combine first? You have to uh, combine like term first, right? Which the four and the two. Like? 4 and 2, yeah, 4 and 2, right here, 4 minus 2, 2. Okay. okay, then the example is harder because on the left side, we also have x, on the right side, we also have x. We have 2x on the left side, we have 1 over 2x, negative 1 over 2x on the right hand side. We have to combine those x together to the left side. So in order to combine that, okay, I'm going to move this, I'm going to add both sides by 1 over 2x. Okay, so that okay, so two x plus one over two x, the other number. I add both side by two. I cancel this. Give you four, right? Two plus two four. So your goal is to bring all the term with x to one side. So bring on term with x to the left side and bring all number with dow x to the right side there you go you see that right what i have right now i have all the term with x to the left right on the left side on the right hand side, I have only number. I don't have anything. Else. I don't have something with x anymore. I just have number. Okay. Now two plus one over two x. Two x plus one over two x. You, you what? Two plus a half. Anyone remember how to do this? Logan, you remember? Two plus a half. How you add this?
Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Turn the two into a fraction. Yeah. What's that? Turn the two into a fraction. Turn the two into a fraction. Very good. Then? Boss. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I know you guys forget. But please, after this meeting, you guys have to go back and review. Okay? You have to. You must. Okay? Because the textbook has a lot of function in there. So you have to follow the textbook. So you need to have five, you need to find LCD, which is uh, over here, two. We have to multiply by two in order to get it the same, right? Two, two, two times one is two. So two times two is four over two plus one over two, right? Now you have the same denominator. I can keep the denominator. Remember, you have to keep the denominator because it's similar. Four plus one, five. So you have five over two x equal four. Then you multiply by two over five. So I multiply both sides by two over five in order to cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. So you have x equal four times two eight, five times one five. So your answer is eight. Don't put decimal number as your answer. Okay, some students do like this. Four times two over five. They put they use calculator to divide by five, give you point something, multiply by four, give you point something. That answer is I don't say it's wrong, but it's not a, a beautiful one. It's not a beautiful one. And, and the system doesn't take it. If you put a decimal in your homework system, they don't take it. And they mark it wrong. Okay, so be careful. You have to leave fraction. Okay, any question on the example? How did you... Um, I got confused when the mm -hmm. fraction turned into the on the right side of the paper to... Right here? One, uh, to the right up at the top right here uh, yeah. okay okay so you see that we have we have two over one plus one over two we have different denominator mm -hmm. the goal is to get the same denominator when you multiply by two two times one is the same as this but when you multiply by the bottom you have to multiply the top Okay. So your goal is to get the same denominator. If it is the same, it's good. If it is not the same, you have the same, you must have the least common denominator, which is to get it the same denominator. So two times two is four. four, four. So as long as you have the same, right? Mm -hmm. You can keep it then. You add the top only. Okay. okay. You don't add this. You don't add two plus two, okay? Mm -hmm. You just add the top. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? All right, all right. We still have five more minutes, I believe so. Uh, we, we can do more examples here. Um, let's see. What time is. Oh, all right, let's do one more time. You guys have to practice a lot. You know? I know that you guys hate fraction, you know? but it's, it's not hard. It's not hard, but just because sometimes you guys like, don't want to spend too much time on that. This quarter is very easy. I'm sure that every, I'm sure that all you guys here can get A for this course. <laughs> Easily. Nothing wrong. All right, how about this? Example five. One over three, parentheses, two x minus three, close, minus one over two x, Equal negative two. Again, every time you see parentheses, distribute it. But right now, in front of parentheses is a fraction. Okay, so we multiply one over three times two. One over three times two. You write it in fraction. You mean two over one. One over three times two over one. You multiply across. One times two is two. Three times one is three. Two over three. One over three times minus positive times negative is negative. Okay. One over three times three 
three means three over one, right? One over three times three over one, which is one of one times three is three, three times one is also three, three divided by three, one. So over here, one. I don't touch this, I leave it. I just rewrite it. Now, you look on the left hand side, anything we can combine. Anything we can combine. Come on, come on. Anything we can combine. Because right now we have two terms with x. We are allowed to have one term with x only. So we have to add all the terms with x together. Actually, we subtract because you're right here minus. So we're going to pick this, minus this. So 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2. Fraction, different denominator. We must have the same denominator. So I multiply here by 2, multiply here by 3, right? Because 3 times 2 give you 6, 2 times 3 also give you 6. But when you multiply bottom by 2, you have to multiply the top. So give you 4 over 6 minus 3 times 1, 3 over 6, which is 1 over 6x. Minus 1, I don't touch it, I leave it there. What next? Anyone? Now you you what? add one. What's that? Add one to both sides. Add one to both sides. Add one to both sides. Okay, so one over six. Two, two plus one. Negative two plus one, negative one. Then in order to get rid of one six, I just flip that and multiply by six over one. Multiply by six one. Cancel, 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 cancel. Then you have x. Negative one times six over one, negative six. Any question? Any concern? I mean, you see that the problem I give you at the example is uh, it go from the easy level to the harder level, right? But there, it could be more hard. It could be harder and harder if, if I want it, if the system want it, okay? So when you do the homework somewhere, somehow, and you click it and they give you the, the problem that's harder, I mean, don't panic, you know? Get back to, go back to the lecture note and see what you have to do. This is what you have to remember. Every time you see parentheses, multiply them, first. then combine like term, okay? Move everything to the move everything with x to the left hand side, all the number to the right hand side. Of course, adding fraction, multiply fraction, divide fraction, subtract fraction. You have to master. If you if you don't master that, it will be very hard for you. I don't say this, this you couldn't do it because you have calculator. But please, 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 go back and review that. You should be okay with it. It's not really that bad. Any questions so far before we get dismissed? I need to check attendance. But any question? Very good. So I'm going to stop share and I'm going to check attendance, okay? Okay, let me see. Uh, so we're going to do a uh, live lecture next week. Uh, two more time, okay. Um, of course, this lecture already been recorded, and um, you can um, rewatch it again um, on uh, Canvas. I already told you that um, because uh, I emailed and said uh, because we don't have enough space on iCloud, they don't give us a lot of space. So it means that uh, when I post this lecture, I have to delete the previous one. Okay, so in order to rewatch the previous one, you had to go back to the canvas and watch the, on on the module. Okay, so today is twenty. Okay, I'm gonna call the name right now. Uh, Bailey, Jessica. If you hear, please say yes. No. Okay, Butler Delaney. I'm here. 
Oh, you're here. <laughs> yeah, and it's still waning. <laughs> Oh, you here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Cadenas, Vanessa. Okay. Castillo, Isabel. Okay. Uh, after uh, after I call your name and you here and you can leave if you want to. Uh, unless you have any uh, question for me. Castillo, Isabel, no. Okay. Uh, Caleva, Fabian. Okay, Cloud and Timory. I'm here. Wonderful. Uh, Galleon Clinton. Okay. Hernandez Gabriel. Okay. Uh, Lambert Jennifer. Okay. Lee Lachelle. Lopez Alandes. Alandes. No. Mandando Esther. I'm right here. Oh, you're there. <laughs> oh, Martinez Kira. Okay. Martinez Rivera Genesis. Okay. Milo Logan. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Marcus Nipper. Anthony Nunes. Uh, Oshi Shrajahan. Here. Oh, you there. Okay. Oshi there. Yeah. Olivera Lice. Okay. Oliver Dachi. Uh, Jim Poreski. Oswando Random. Okay. Rebecca Ripke. Here. Soto. Oh, you there. Ripke. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Shoto Jasmine, I'm sure you're here, right, Jasmine? Here. Yes. Okay. All right. Torres Noah. Okay. Danila Chuhilo Avoro. Talia Vaquez. Pila Gomez Ortega Cristina. Okay. Virginia Wapnoko. Peyton Wright. All right. Let's see who. Let's see. All right. I think that's it. Um, uh, if you guys have any question, um, uh, just uh, send me uh, a message on Canvas. Let's please help each other first, okay? Go to the tutor, help each other first, then um, then um, if you get stuck, just. Give me the messages. Now. I'll try to answer you as quick as I can. Okay. I'll see you next time on Tuesday at seven o'clock. Any other question? No. Uh, professor. Yes. I'm sorry. I I didn't mute in time or unmute, but I missed my name. It was Darcy Oliver. Oh, you Darcy. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Any other questions, guys? All right. I'll see you next time. Okay. I'm going to end the meeting right now.